They're in the gate. And they're off. In the Group 1 Virgin Bet Sun Chariot Stakes, the Roly Mile ahead of them and the Grey. Roman Mist was away alertly. Also prominent, but over on the far side rail is Random Harvest, who gives a lead to Goldana in the very early stages. Meditate is the one who gets a lead from Roman Miss, followed by Inspiral, and then Marquise de Sevenye, a break then of a length and a half back to Coppice, and it's Heredia, who is at the back of the field. They've completed their first quarter of a mile, and it's Roman Mist who has got the lead in the center of the course, being followed by Meditate, and then Inspiral, and Marquesa de Sevenye. Meanwhile, leading the two over on the far side is Random Harvest, who's a length and a half in front of Goldana, still Heredia towards the rear of the field, together with Coppice. They come towards a halfway point in the 58th running of the Sun Chariot Stakes, and it's Roman Mist who still has the lead. Roman Mist now by half a length. Over on the far side is Random Harvest in second. Frankie de Tori has switched in spiral to challenge right up against that far side rail and in spiral has travelled well into the race. Towards the near side, Meditate is driven to close. Now Marquesa de Sevenye is being to make a move alongside Heredia, but inside the final quarter of a mile, it's in spiral and Frankie de Tori have got the lead down into the dip. In spiral's lead is three lengths over a Heredia in second. Marquesa de Sevenye, but now as they meet the rising ground, it's in spiral who is cleared by three, Marquez de Sevenye and then Heredia, but it's 500 wins for Frankie de Tori at Newmarket, as in Spiral wins the Sun Chariot, Marquez de Sevenye and then Heredia next. Another landmark reach for Frankie de Tori, his 500th winner here at Newmarket, and special to do it in the Group 1 Sun Chariot on board in Spiral, and it looked from the outside at least as though that was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean, I, we knew the pace was a good to be that strong. She prefer a, a much stronger tempo but uh, I know she you know she, she's got a crescendo of three furlongs and uh, I didn't want to mess around I thought come on let's go come and catch me and uh, I, I knew I had daylight and uh, you know she strode out really well she's a super filly while she's on song and, uh, and today she was that move at just under three furlongs out and then going on from two furlongs out, that was really de decisive and the, the space that she put between her yeah. and the rest was impressive yeah absolutely I mean um, I had a gap with it within the Safi and uh, Oshin and Safi decided to join us and I didn't want to mess around by looking for gaps. I thought, give her some clean air and use a stride because I know she's got one. And uh, once I got that slingshot down the hill, that was all over them. She's been much more straightforward at the start as well, her last yeah, two runs. Yeah, I mean, she gave me a nightmare ride in France. <laughs> she was on flower pots, knocking people over. And uh, But today, once she was out, she was good. And, um, yeah, I was quite worried, <laughs> you know, why she, why she was so quiet. Because sometimes you think, well, if they're quiet, they could be maybe they over the top or maybe they're in season. But, no, it wasn't the case. She was quiet because um, she is having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, this 500th yeah. winner at Newmarket? Was that a significant landmark for you? Yes, of course. When I got to 499 last week, I thought, well, at least I've got a spider to look forward to. She, I know she'll be thereabouts. Um, I didn't know until last week when the Amy Starkey, the new market, one of the new market directors, told me that I was so close. Uh, of course, new market is my home, 38 years, and uh, you know it's great to, you know, I mean, it's great, fantastic to be able to do it on a Group One, yes. on, a, on a special filly. So uh, I couldn't have wrote her a better ending. But uh, like I told you before, I woke up with a knot in my stomach. I didn't feel myself nervous. Sad, emotional, but uh, you know, at least I've got it done now. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, I've got two weeks left, so it's getting close, and I'm getting so many good, well, in the best wishes. And you know, you know, I do, you know, I'm not, I'm, I won't be human if I didn't feel like this. You know, yeah. I do feel a uh, mixed emotion, happiness, sad. So it's starting to become horribly yes. real, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Don't remind me, thanks. <laughs> but the, the the kind of reception that you got from a local crowd here, that must touch you. Yeah, listen, everywhere I go, I mean, I'm a believer. I mean, Longchamp, they were amazing. My, um, York, they were amazing. Um, uh, Deauville, everywhere I've been, has been incredible. And I don't think it could be any difference when I get to Ascot on my last day. So, 
you know, then if I'm, I'm allowed to cry that day but because it's my last one, but I'm, t I'm trying to keep it together till then. <laughs> and presumably that 500th getting it out of the way before future yeah. Champions Weekend must have been quite important. Well, of course, yeah, because then uh, you go into the meeting with more, much more relaxed because sometimes when you're so close to do something, you, 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 you try to push things to make it happen and that's where you make mistakes. So now I can uh, sit back and enjoy my last new market. And King of Steel, a very important rider to pick yeah. up for the champion stakes. How was he this morning? Great. I mean, he's a beautiful big horse. He's a very kind mind. Uh, he worked well, super consistent, second in the derby, and there's a great ride to have. Champion stakes uh, is going to be a tough race, but he's run very well at Ascot. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to riding him. He's a beautiful horse, and, uh, in, and he's entitled to be in, in the race and be one of the favourites. You'd feel pretty annoyed if you hadn't had a ride in the race, surely, wouldn't you? I know, exactly, especially <laughs> on my last yeah, ride. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, good ride to have, trust me. Okay, well, many congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.